going. Um, I wanted to talk today about some of my favorite movies. Um, some of you may know that um, my pants are really noisy. <laughs> um, some of you may know that I have uh, another YouTube channel where um, I talk about movies, I kind of geek out about movies. Um, if that's something you want to hear me talk about um, without whispering, without the ASMR, um, it's called So Good at Movies. Um, I'll try to link it up here, but if not, it'll be down in the description. Um, just kind of starting that channel back up. Um, I, I started it like three years ago, four years ago, um, so when I got the name, and I was like, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I made like two or three videos, and then just like put it on the back burner for day job, you know, just working on professional videos and getting paid to do it, so it made more sense. I also have um, an Instagram for that account. It's called, you know, at So Good at Movies as well. Um, I post a lot of movie memes, so if you want uh, some dumb distraction, go, yeah, go give it a follow, please, you know. Um, I think it'd be really cool to make, uh, make a living doing YouTube. And I think, uh, realistically, the only way for that to happen for the average person, I mean, I mean, for the average person, I think your best chances are to, to edge your bets, you know, and have more than one channel. Um, so, yeah, those are this channel and that channel are kind of my, my primary actions right now. Um, also, whispering makes me really thirsty, so I'm going to be drinking a lot of water during this video. But, uh, long rambling preamble aside, um, I think this will be a rambly video just because I'm, you know, I'm just whispering and just talking and just having a good time with it. Um, but so recently on the uh, Movie Nerd channel, I made a video about my favorite movies. These people just slam doors in this apartment complex. Um, so I'm sure that'll, that'll happen again when they come back. But uh, I made a video about my favorite movies, and I want to talk to you guys about them, or whisper to you guys about them, you guys and girls, and non-binaries, however you identify, you know, I don't judge. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about my favorite movies, because I love movies. I love watching movies. Uh, I'm working on making some. Um, you know, nothing big, just fun little short films. Um, I've made two little short films. And if you didn't know, um, you know, making videos is kind of my profession. I make uh, commercials and, and do a lot of work for corporations and nonprofits. Um, yeah. So, anyway, um, that video over there on my Movie Nerd channel was my top five movies. That was a weird noise. <laughs> um, it was my top five favorite movies. And I, I actually mentioned eight, and I started with three honorable mentions. Um, the honorable mentions were The Big Lebowski, Goodfellas, and La La Land. Because sometimes those movies will creep into my top five, just depending on the day and, you know, who asks me and how I'm feeling and what I've been watching recently. So, The Big Lebowski, um, that's, if you haven't seen it, it's a great movie uh, by the Coen brothers. It's, uh, it's a fairly interesting story. It just kind of follows this stoner guy who's kind of just thrust into this... There's that door slam again. <laughs> it just kind of follows uh, this stoner guy who just, you know, wants...
wants to have a chill life and it just all this drama happens to him and he doesn't want any part of it. He just wants to wants to just get out of there and just be free of the drama. But, you know, he goes through the motions to to get to the end and it's it's actually just this really hilarious movie. Um, and I'm sure that description is terrible. You know, I didn't I didn't take any notes, I didn't write anything down, I'm just kinda winging it. Um, but it's just, just a wonderful comedy. There's so much depth to it. Every time I watch it, there's just new jokes. And, you know, regardless of how I'm feeling, you know, I could put that movie on. And it, it, it really comforts me and just makes me feel better, you know. Um, the intro especially is just like, I mean... You know, there's, there's some good ASMR out there, and the intro's not like ASMR-y, but it's just like, oh, you just melt, like Sam Elliott, um, he's like the narrator, and if you don't know who that is, you just go Google, like, Big Lebowski opening, and just, like, you'll just melt, like, it's so relaxing, and you're just like, yep, I'm gonna just melt into my couch, and just relax, and just watch this movie, and it's just so many good vibes. Um, the exact opposite of that, of course, is Goodfellas, which would be my second honorable mention. Um, you know, I like mobster movies, I like gangster movies, and for me, I feel like Goodfellas is my favorite one. It's, it's probably not the best one. The best one's probably maybe Godfather Part 2. Um, but Goodfellas is my favorite. I really like, uh, Ray Liotta. And his, you know, narration, I like the story, you know, it's, Joe Pesci's amazing in it, and it has a really good use of music, um, in a, uh, I'm trying to think, what's the, I can't think of the word, it's a juxtaposition, where it's like, the music that's playing does not match the images you're seeing, and, uh, that was like one of the first movies to do that, as far as I know, I don't know if it was the first, but, you know, Martin Scorsese was a kind of a innovator in a lot of ways, and people copied him. So I, I could believe that maybe it was the first time that someone had done something like that. Um, and even if he wasn't the first, he did it better. So, <laughs> Goodfellas, definitely, definitely worth your watch if you haven't seen it. That's another great one. Uh, the last honorable mention is La La Land. Because I love musicals and I have a giant man crush on Ryan Gosling and a giant crush on Emma Stone. And I really just want to see those two, like, get together for reals. Um, <laughs> just between that and, like, Crazy Stupid Love, I'm just like, yeah, you, you two should be together. Um, La La Land, it's not, again, it's not the best musical. I think Singing in the Rain is the best musical movie. But La La Land, it's got really good catchy songs, it's got a really great story, and the cinematography is really great, and that's, you know, someone who takes pictures and makes videos for a living, you know. I probably weigh cinematography a lot heavier than other things when I'm rating movies, so La La Land is, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good, you know, and it's, it's just a great film. So, getting on with uh, my favorite films, um, number five, I have Empire Strikes Back, because I think that was the movie that um, made me really interested in movies. Um, I can remember as a kid just renting it and just watching it over and over again. <laughs> And I think, you know, my parents eventually got sick of me renting it and just bought me the trilogy. Um, and I remember very vividly, like, as a kid, when I'd have to, like, shovel snow, I would picture that I was on, like, the hot base. And I was like, I gotta shovel, <laughs> shovel the driveway for Master Skywalker, which I don't know why. It's like my fantasy was to be a guy who's just like the peon at the hoth base which is like almost everybody there gets killed by the big walking things so but you know it made me 
fall in love with movies and know what movies could be and you know Boba Fett's in it you see Boba Fett for the first time he's pretty cool everyone likes Boba Fett and if, you know not everybody there are some haters out there um so number four on my movie list was Clerks uh this is a movie more people haven't seen uh it's Kevin Smith's first film and if you're not familiar with Kevin Smith and you like stoner comedies, well, get on board, man. There's a lot of movies for you to enjoy. Um, but I like Clerks because it was a movie that made me feel like filmmaking was accessible. And um, it really related to what I was living at the time. I was working on an ice rink. I was, you know, managing an ice rink. And we didn't like the customers, and that's kind of what Clerks is about. It's just like a guy who's like at a convenience store, and he like hates his job, and he hates the customers, and it's just uh, he just has a really rough day. And I was like, oh man, I related to that so hard. And now, kind of looking back, um, we can kind of realize like the importance of representation for people. You know, being just like a white dude, like every movie character is about like you could theoretically relate to it but like the way that Kevin Smith wrote it and the other character of Don Day was like that was the first time I like saw someone on screen I was like that's me like and it had like such a profound effect and I'm like man I could only really imagine how like you know a young like tomboy girl would think about you know seeing like a a protagonist like, you know, like Rey in the new Star Wars films, and just like, yeah, okay, that's, I can, you know, now, 10 years after I've seen it for the first time, like, okay, I can see why that's, like, super important, and, like, this, that needs to happen, you know, you know, it probably took me longer than a lot of people, but, you know, I'm here now, so, I think, uh, yeah, more, which, that's such a weird, if you watch Clerks, like, the idea that, like, there should be more representation is not a takeaway that most people would get from that film. Um, but it made me want to make films, because it was, you know, Kevin Smith made it on, like, a shoestring budget. Like, he took out a bunch of credit card loans and, like, had his parents give him a loan. He made it for, like, $30,000, which is, like, crazy back then. Like, now you could probably make Clerks for, like, five grand, like, maybe, probably less, um, but, you know, it just made it, it just made filmmaking seem so accessible, like, I could do this, and then, when you read interviews with Kevin Smith, like, oh, he's just such a great guy, he's so positive, and he just makes you, you like, he's, you know, he just really, he really just gave me the push of, like, yeah, you want to go do it, like, what's stopping you? Like, I did it, and I'm an idiot, and you're like, yeah, I'm an idiot too, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go make movies. So, you know, I miss the mark a little bit, you know, because I'm working advertising, but I make these videos, and they make me happy, and hopefully they make you guys happy too. Um, so, next on the list, pause for water. is uh, Drive, which is another Ryan Gosling film. Um, if you haven't seen it, um, I don't really want to ruin it, but um, suffice to say, Ryan Gosling is a getaway driver, and he's like the best, and he gets wrapped up in a situation, you know, as you might expect from a crime movie. Um, but what I love about Drive, aside from my giant man crush on Ryan Gosling, is just like I really love the story and if you watch the opening like five minutes like you're gonna be hooked it's just so tense and it just grabs you and you just like can't help but like really really just like you're stuck you're, you know, you're stuck to your seat and you're like okay I'm here I'm signed up like you just can't it's like one of the best openings in all of cinema in my opinion um and I don't know if I said the cinematography is crazy good, but like, the cinematography is crazy good. You know, it's like, if I had, you know, the big Hollywood budget and like, the skill, <laughs> that's totally like, 
which would be crazy if I was still making ASMR in five years, that would be... Did I start this in 2014, maybe? Or 2015? If I did it, was still making ASMR in like five years, I'd be making ASMR for ten years, which would be crazy. It's crazy to think about doing anything for ten years. But, uh, you know, I've been... I've been on like social media for like ten or eleven years, and like every now and then you see those posts and we're like, hey, remember this from ten years ago? And you're like, wow, that uh, when I was a different person, it seems like it wasn't that long ago, but then it also seems like it was forever and a day ago. So I don't know. Life is weird, and especially with the, you know the world we live in now. It seems like technology has sped everything up. But uh, yeah. Just gotta take some time to sit back, relax, watch some movies. There's eight right there. If you haven't seen any of them, I cannot recommend them enough. And if you have seen them, oh, then hey, just go watch them again and remember how great they are. And uh, on that note, if you haven't subscribed, go hit that button. Um, subscribing helps me. You know, hitting the like button helps me. Leaving comments helps me. Uh, so if you want to leave a comment down below with your favorite films, like I'd love to talk to you about them. And if you're a movie nerd like me, you know, go follow my my movie channel, So Good at Movies, and we could talk more about movies over there. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for continuing to watch all these like dumb videos I make. Um, you know, they don't get a ton of views, but I really, I'm really enjoying making them. So.